This lesson is for Grade 9 ICT, Information and Communication Technology, Computer System Servicing. And it is based on MELC Applying Quality Standards of Received Materials. And our topic is all about the factors in selecting the materials. Okay, we have Lesson 1, Specification of Materials and Components. And our objective is to discuss the specification of materials and components. And the other one is to determine the factors when selecting the materials and give examples of common materials used for ICT. At home or in a school, there are computers, materials, and components. Check your prior knowledge by rearranging the jumble letters as shown below. And this is the answer from the given activity. The first object is monitor. Second one is speaker. Compact disc. Flash disc. Webcam. Keyboard. Laptop computer. Mouse. Headset. Computer desktop. And now we have the factors in selecting the materials. Number one is the selection of material. It is the ability to choose the materials using the following considerations. The first consideration is the cost of the material. It is the amount of purchasing the materials. It may differ from one supplier to another even if the specifications are the same. Next is the environmental consideration. Anything that leads to the pollution of soil, water, and air, especially its energy consumption impact. At the end of ICT hardware use, recycling, disposal like e-waste, this would be used in landfills and would provide impact and effect to the environment. Next is the chemical properties. It is the material properties evident during the time of its use will show chemical reaction. What chemicals are used in computer? One is lead. Next, cadmium. Mercury. Next is the physical properties. The identifiable and unique aspect of a material, most particularly its basic capabilities. The next is mechanical attributes. The physical properties that any material exhibits when applied with forces such as elasticity, tensile strength, elongation, hardness, and fatigue limit. Then, company producing the material. The business name provides identity to the business and the product it produces, especially when the enterprise produces unique and amazing product. Number two is the testing of material. This will help analyze the quality and standards of materials using the following techniques. One is the hardness tester. Any device that checks the hardness of a material by measuring the durability of such material. And this is the desktop hardness tester. Fully computerized PC-based Brunel hardness tester. Next is the comprehensive strength test. It is more of mechanical test that measures the maximum amount of compressive load a material can bear before such material breaks. Next, impact test. It is used to observe the mechanics how the material exhibit 
when it experienced shock and such material immediately deform. Drop and impact testing of lithium ion batteries. Next is the fluoroscope. It is an imaging machine which uses X-rays to determine the interior characteristic of an object. And testing machine. A universal tester for materials for testing tensile strength and compressive strength of materials. This is universal automatic tensile testing machine. Next is creep test. Is subjecting the material to high temperature progressive deformation at constant stress test or ability to alter its form after such test has been taken. And this is an example of creep testing machine. And number three, the last one, which is the cost of material. It is the amount when buying or selecting the materials for a specific project. Though this is economical in the selection process, the amount must consider also the quality and reliability of materials. And this is our activity, rearrange the letters to form the correct word mentioned in the definition. Number one, it is the ability to choose materials using various factors. Number two, it is the amount in purchasing the materials may differ from one supplier to another. Number three, it is a consideration in relation to pollution of water, soil, and air. Number four, is the properties showing identifiable and unique aspect of the material. Number five, an attribute of any material that exhibits elasticity tensile strength, elongation, and hardness when applied with forces. Number six is any device that checks the durability of materials. Number seven, some mechanical test that measures the maximum amount of compressive load before such material breaks. Number eight, Used to observe the mechanics on how the material exhibit due to excessive shock before such materials immediately deform. Number nine is subjecting the material to high progressive temperature before its deformation at constant stress. Number ten is an imaging machine which uses X-rays to determine the interior characteristics of an object. And we have the following answer. 1. Selection 2. Cost 3. Environmental 4. Physical 5. Mechanical 6. Hardness test 7. Strength test, 8. Impact test, 9. Creep test, 10. Fluoroscope. And our next activity is the crossword puzzle. Using the crossword puzzle form below, use your understanding on names, a specification of materials, and components locate at least 20 words horizontally, vertically, diagonally, and combination. Answer Chemical 
material, environment, compact disk, scanner, microprocessor, tester, headset, flash disk, testing, mechanical, camera, mouse, hardness, webcam, memory, cost, keyboard, strength, cable, and machine.